of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel reading today is a narration of the election of the Twelve. It is the story of the election or selection or the choice of the Twelve Apostles. The Lord said to them, You did not choose me, I chose you to bear fruit. Your fruit shall endure, and by your fruits, people will know that you are my disciples. My dear brothers and sisters, these men were chosen from among a group of disciples. What does the word disciple mean? The word disciple actually means a learner. A disciple is a pupil. That is why these men were to be those who were always learning more and more about the Master. Did not Jesus also say, You are all learners. You have only one teacher. Come to think of it, we are all learners. We are all disciples. We are all pupils. There is only one teacher, Christ the Lord. These men were chosen to be his apostles. The Greek word apostolos means someone who is mission, someone who is sent out. The word can be used for an envoy or an ambassador. That is why the apostles were to be ambassadors for Christ to other people. The Christian is also sent to be an ambassador of Christ, not only in word but also in action. And come to think of it, my dear brothers and sisters, all of us occupy some kind of a pulpit every day. Not necessarily because we have to preach about the Word of God, but the way of life that we live, that is our pulpit. That is the pulpit from which other people will get inspired. What kind of men were the original apostles of Jesus? They were ordinary mortals. They were not special. They were not privileged people. There was no wealthy, no prominent, no influential person among them. They had no special education. They did not study in Ivy League schools. They did not study in the best universities. They were men of the common folk. Our Lord Jesus must have said, Give me twelve ordinary men. Give me twelve ordinary men and I will change the world. That is why the work of Jesus lies not in the hands of men whom the world calls great, but in the hands of ordinary people whom he called to be disciples and later on apostles. Interestingly, the apostles chosen were a strange mixture of personalities. They are a strange mixture of characters coming from different backgrounds like the seminarians, like all of us. We are not a photocopy of each other. We are different. We are unique in our own way. You are not me. I am not you. You are not me. I am not you. I do not want to be like you. And I'm sure you do not want to be like me. You are you and I am me. The apostles were a strange mixture of people coming from different backgrounds. They exhibited different behaviors, different temperaments like you and I. But the choice of these men emphasizes the universal character of mission. 
That is why we are different. It wants to underline the universal character of mission. The church is missionary in nature and vocation. All the apostles became missionaries except one. All of them became missionaries except one. Because this one opted to be a betrayer or a traitor. The church is Catholic, meaning universal in its mission. To take but two of them. Matthew was a tax collector and therefore he was a traitor and a renegade. Simon Peter was a zealot and the zealots were fanatical nationalists who were sworn to assassinate every traitor and every Roman citizen in sight. The important thing is that when people are really Christian in outlook, even the most diverse and different types can still peaceably live together. My dear friends in Christ, if we really love God, we will try to love one another. It may be difficult, but it is not impossible. May I remind our benefactors, our sponsors, our donors, about the invitation that I sent out to most of you, if not all. I tried my best to send out the invitation for the Mass tomorrow. Tomorrow, September 8, is the birthday of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And tomorrow, September 8, is also the 146th birthday or founding anniversary of the SVD, of the Society of the Divine Word to which we belong. We will have a, as I already mentioned, as we mentioned in the invitation, we will have a concelebrated Mass tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning. The SVDs who are available will be here and uh, the seminarians will also be here and we would like this is a they would like to again remind you please don't forget 10 o'clock you click shrine of jesus the divine word or christ the king mission seminary and join us in praying for the gift of mission because we share the same mission you friends benefactors and donors you are our co-missionaries and uh Birthday of the SVD, birthday of the Blessed Mother. Now, I will not be the main presider tomorrow, so let me say this very quickly. There are only three birthdays that the church celebrates in its calendar. What are the three birthdays? The others are not birthdays, they are feast days. They are days of martyrdom, days of death, and so on. But they are not birthdays. No? So what are the three birthdays that the church celebrates? Number one is June 24. Whose birthday is June 24? John the Baptist. The second is September 8. Whose birthday is September 8? The Blessed Virgin Mary. The third and last one is December 25. The birthday of Jesus. These are the three birthdays that the church celebrates. There is another birthday, September 26, but the church doesn't care. What is September 26? Never mind. It is for you to find out. Amen. Let us all stand. God calls His chosen ones to fulfill His will. Let us pray confidently to our Father, knowing that He wishes His people to intercede for the world. Let our response be, Father,